So my name is Darlene and I have a message that needs to be shared and sent out to everyone. Whether it pertains to you or not, guarantee there is someone you know that needs to hear this. Depression is taking lives, causing people to miss out on the joys of the world. And I want to help in any way I can. And that is my goal with my videos. I too have suffered depression. It is hard, especially like now during the holidays. It gets out of control. So let's give it to a higher power. Only God can help us. Like it says in Psalms 34, 19, a righteous man may be, have many troubles, but the Lord delivers him from all. I'm not going to push religion to you or on you. That is not my goal. My goal is to help and depression is hard. You are not alone and I don't want you to feel alone. Whether you're another religion, maybe you're gay, whatever be the case, I'm not judging you and I'm not going to. That's not my job. I want each and every person in the world to be happy. We deserve it, don't we? We try so hard to be happy. It's just life makes it really hard. Nobody should be depressed. That they should take it out. Some people take it to the ultimate end. And for every person that has taken their life due to depression, they had a purpose in the world. They were somebody's child, somebody's sibling, somebody's friend, family, whether it be the depression is a disease and it spread on to somebody else. And we need to stop this disease. We need to reach out and help each other. There are many reasons for depression during this time of year, during Christmas, Thanksgiving. The main reasons is during the year we've lost loved ones or, and it can be hard to have your first Thanksgiving, your first Christmas without an uncle, a brother, a mother, a father, grandparents. You're entitled to your grief, yes. But don't let depression consume you. Don't let it destroy you. We must keep going for them. We will see them again. I've lost my father and my grandmother and I've spent many holidays without them. And I will see them again. But for now, I want to help y'all, everybody watching this. The I know that my father and grandmother are no longer ever going to suffer. They're not going to see the struggles of the world. And we see the world changing every day and it's not for the best. But that's going to be in my next video. Now we focus on the memories. Like my grandmother, God-fearing woman, wonderful woman. She would have helped anybody. Doesn't matter if you believed in God, if you was an atheist. If you was addicted to drugs, my grandma would have helped you because that's who she was. She is a great woman. Another reason for the depression around the holidays is financial, the money. And I know it's hard. I've worked my whole life and I'm not rich. I'm barely making it still struggling and but I will be grateful for what I have. I have a roof over my head, whether it leaks or not. It's a roof. I'm warm in the winter, mostly. And I am cool in the summer, mostly, depending on how hot it gets. I have food in my tummy, whether it's food I want to eat or not. It's food. I go from paycheck to paycheck and have to maneuver my money to determine who gets paid and who doesn't, how much of a loan can I afford just to get by to the next paycheck. This Christmas, I, I have a daughter and a son. I spent $25 on each of them. The rest of the presents came from churches, salvation, family, and friends. 
and I thank every one of y'all for considering my children. Knowing the struggles that we have been through this year, this year has been really hard. But in the world we live in, money controls literally everything. The more money you have, the bigger you are. But if we can release our worries, just keep going. My, I haven't read the Bible in many years, but I have been lately. And my favorite scripture that I've read was 1 Peter 5, 7. Carrying your worries, stresses, and daily struggles by yourself shows that you have not trusted fully in God with your life. It takes humility, however, to recognize that God cares to admit your need and to let others in God's family help you. Sometimes we think that our struggles caused by our own sin and foolishness are not God's concern, but when we turn in repentance to God, He will bear the weight of even those struggles. Letting God have your anxiety calls for action, not positivity. Positivity. Don't submit to circumstances but to the Lord who controls circumstances. Now, like I said, I'm not pushing religion on you, but even if we can imagine somebody else taking our struggles and we move on, we keep going, like Dory, just keep swimming, just keep swimming, we, we can push through. If, if it gives you comfort, take it take every little bit of comfort you can get. I have a st st statistic. Sorry, I am dyslexic and I do have a stutter. But I do have a statistic that deeply saddened me. In 2017, there were 47,173 recorded suicides. That's up from 42,000 773 in 2014 according to the CDS National Center for Health Statistics suicide rates in America has climbed 24 percent between 1999 and 2014. It's sad to see that it's climbing. I would rather see a decline. I'm asking each and every one of you to reach out to your friends, your family, your neighbors. It doesn't cost anything to be a decent human being. If we can just be nice to each other, help each other. Greed has really taken over the world. If you want to talk to somebody, if you just want to speak it out, get it off your chest, I have an email that I set up for people like you, and I will try to reply to each and every one. The email is greatlifeministries at outlook.com. That's G R E A T L I F E M I N I S T R I E S at Outlook.com. Please share this video, subscribe, like it. If we work together to make the world a happier place, a safer place for our children, I want to make an army to say to help people in need. And I'm at the beginning, but we got to start somewhere. Eventually I will have a mailing address and I'm hoping for a website soon. I will be praying for each and every one of you and I hope that you have a blessed day. My next video will be a video of the evil that's consuming this world. And I hope that 
this really means something to somebody and this can help somebody I will put in the comments the email and I would like to hear from y'all and it helps to just have somebody to lean on and I hope every one of y'all have a blessed day and keep on swimming.